What is up guys, welcome to today's video. So, if you guys are new, we just, been we just bedlined uh, my truck the other day and it's, you know, strong enough now where I can start putting decals on it. You can see I put this one on uh, so far and uh, there's a trick to getting these on to get them to actually stick to the bed liner. Um, so that's what I'm gonna show you guys today. But, we've got this, these little ones too that I bought. I don't know if I'm going to keep them there or not, but I mean, they kind of fit, so. Um, yeah, 9-inch lifted Ford F-150, 96 F-150. It's on 35s right now, but it'll eventually be on 38s and basically full restoration. So just for those of you that are new, pretty much full restoration that I've done on this truck. Um, yeah, so. <clears throat> Alrighty, so getting into doing these decals now they come like this all right on a sheet you can buy them on amazon they're cheap and uh so they're kind of you know if you mess it up you can buy another one they're not all that expensive um so once you actually do stick it on there i'll show you guys on the other side um it's not really going to want to stay because of all of the bumps and everything in the bed liner um it doesn't really like the sticker doesn't adhere to it so that's when my my trick comes in. Oh, I'm tripping over stuff. All right. So we're going to put this one on this side and uh, I want to make sure I'm going to get it in the right spot, the same spot as I have it over here. So it's uh, about an inch away from there and a little less than an inch down and then level across. So. It would be something like that. So I need to get that level and then I'm gonna stick it on. And actually I had a um, a card that I was using, there we go. My OSHA card <laughs> to uh, kind of massage it into the, uh, you know, when you, put a, when you put a vinyl sticker down, you kind of just need to get all the air bubbles out. So that's what this is for. Um, okay, so I'm gonna put you guys down over here. Hopefully that's uh, not a horrible view. And we're gonna go ahead and line this up. So since it is on bed liner, it's not gonna stick right away anyway. So you can kind of just slap it on there and then move it around to where you want it. Um, so, you know, vinyl stickers are two parts. You got this part and then it's supposed to stick to this part. And you line it up where you want it. Probably get it level, make sure you get it level. That'd be a good thing. It's probably gonna wanna sit like right there. And now it'll stay there for a second, but as you see you guys can hear that, that's actually the, all the air bubbles behind it. So, see that looks pretty level. It's pretty consistent, I think. Um, with what I have going on on the other side so okay so now what we're gonna do is we're going to kind of massage it down as good as we can I actually don't even need the OSHA card because I'm just gonna use my hand for the next part too and then when you're peeling this off you need to be very careful because see look it doesn't stick to the bed liner so you kind of just need to make it stick um, I just need to make it stick. So as you're peeling this off, you push down on the actual decal itself just to keep it down. Um, and you gotta be careful to see it just came off. But it does, it does not stick to the bed liner at all on its own just because of the surface. So and you just really wanna make sure that you're not gonna rip the sticker either. It's very easy to start pulling on one of these and not realize that you have an edge caught. So you just gotta make sure that you, uh, you know, don't do that. And these are cheap decals anyway. So even if you do ruin it, it's okay. Uh, I think they're like 15 bucks for both of them. So.
Okay, so we've got it on there. And you guys can see it doesn't really want to stick. You know, it's kind of, you know, the other one doesn't make that sound. If I go to the other one, it's on there. So, and you can see it'll kind of pick up on the edges and stuff and that you don't want. So what you're gonna do is grab your trusty heat gun. Uh, just like a cheap, any heat gun will work. You wanna put on the lowest setting. Don't go burning the hell out of it. Um, yeah, I gotta plug this in. Okay, so you're gonna wanna put on the lowest setting and it would help if I could move this closer. Look how safe these light outlets are. They still work though. <laughs> okay. At least I think they work. Yep, they work. All right, so lowest setting and you're just gonna wanna go around the edges. I guess you could start in the middle too, but on the other side, I started on the edges and you just wanna melt it a little bit and then stick it down. And you're gonna go all around the edge, push from left to right. That's how I did it on the other side. So I'm gonna go around here and work my way that way with the heat gun while applying pressure after I heat it up with my hand to stick it down and get it into the bumps in the bed liner. And you can see when you're doing this, this doesn't have a texture to it and where you're pressing down has the bed liner texture to it. So that's how you know you're doing it right. If it's really getting into all those little bumps and it's not uh, staying flat like that. Okay, so <clears throat> this is what it's gonna look like. If I could shut this damn thing off. I'll just keep it on low for now. We'll put it down there. So this is what it's gonna look like. Uh, make sure you don't get too close. You guys can see I got a little too close right there and kind of melted the edges a little bit. But from back here, you know, it looks fine. So I'm not super concerned about it. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do a couple heat cycles with it, working from left to right, pressing it down pretty hard filling all of the air pockets in and then I'm going to go around the rim and make sure that the edges are all set and uh, all stuck down pretty good because I don't want mud or water to be getting underneath this because I don't have to peel it off and put new ones and I'm sure these probably won't last super long um, especially because they're really not supposed to be on the bed liner like they're kind of just made for paint um, so I don't know how long they're really gonna last on there, but I'd probably say like at least six months. Uh, they, they probably would last more. They might last for years. Um, we're just gonna have to see um, as time goes on. I've never put a sticker on bed liner before until, until now, because I really wanted these, uh, these stickers. You guys remember I put them on the, on the pink. This truck used to be pink, by the way, if you guys are new. Used to be pink. Um, I had them on the pink before. And uh, I really like them. I just, I just freaking love four by four badges. I don't know, man. It just, and with the black and orange, it matches the whole theme. So we still got to do the rims, by the way. So don't mind that. Those are gonna go black. Um, but yeah, I guess that's kind of it. Um, I guess that's uh, that's how you're gonna put your stickers on your bed liner. Once you guys do your own bed liner paint job, that's how you're gonna uh, put your stickers on it. So, all right, you guys. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe down below. Uh, I really appreciate you guys all watching and I'm getting a bunch of comments lately, especially on the uh, reveal video of this. So I really appreciate all you guys that comment and like and everything. So keep on keeping on. Alrighty guys, thank you all for watching.